When it comes to romance and cancer, wow, isn't that a good chapter for a book? Getting back into the world of dating and having to disclose to someone that you had cancer and you're a cancer survivor, a lot of people don't realize that cancer is just not a one and done thing. It's a lifelong thing. I struggled to know when and how to tell people that I had cancer. It just feels like I'm showing up with a lot of baggage. Um, and I think that I have really struggled to feel worthy of love. Well, I was married pretty young. I actually married to a guy who, because he thought I was gonna pass away, it's not a good story, thought I was gonna pass away that, um, so he was having an affair. So that really scarred me. Ghosting is real. It actually happened to me, you know, during my journey, you know, to dump on someone that you have cancer or to say the C word, a lot of people don't know how to handle that. It definitely started affecting with the way that I looked at myself and the way that I felt about myself and the way I felt about relationships, more so with my partner. Seven years later, we're, we're, we're now starting the conversation again of like, how do you want me to touch you? How can you touch me? How do we feel each other again? I want him to know that I love him and I'm attracted to him, and but I, but I, I can't do that until I'm until I love myself and I'm physically attracted to myself and I'm not quite there yet. That's four years later, I'm now happily married. You know, I'm at a point where I would, you know, like to find a partner. Um, and I, I know I am worthy of love um, and capable of love. I just need some help breaking down the, the barrier between that.